Hi everyone, welcome to my infinite journey. Oh, come on. That went too long. Hi everyone, I hope everyone is doing great. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome. And if it is your first time here, welcome as well. My name is Chris and I am gonna be chronicling my weight loss journey here on my channel, This Infinite Life, where I vlog with my husband and our six kids. Now today what I wanted to talk about as far as my weight loss journey is the book, that changed my life and that I know will change your life too. So go ahead and hit that like button if you're excited to hear about this book that has helped me make huge strides in my life and that I know will have a huge impact on your life and the life of the ones that you love. Huge. Huge. So the reason that I think that this book is so important is because when I think about a weight loss journey, I more think about a journey towards self improvement more so than weight loss. As I said in my last video, which you can check out, I'm gonna link to it below and I'm also gonna put it up here so when I think about weight loss I have this theory it's basically called the red panther theory red panther theory yes okay so imagine being in a jungle the jungle is filled with red panthers all over for as far as the eyes can see but you have issues with red panthers now imagine you think to yourself okay that's fine I'm just going to avoid panthers for 30 days you can avoid them for 30 days but once those 30 days are up you're eventually gonna have to face them again. You think to yourself, okay, I'm only gonna deal with panthers between the hours of 11 and seven. You're still eventually gonna have to deal with those panthers. Or you think to yourself, oh, I'll just deal with panthers less than I normally deal with them. It doesn't matter which way you look at it, you're still going to have to deal with this jungle filled with red panthers. Okay, I think about your relationship with your food exactly the same way, avoid it, change the time frame that you eat it in, change the amount that you're eating, none of that will matter unless you are working on healing the deeply rooted issues that you have with food. And that's where this book comes in. The book is called You Can Heal Your Life by Louise Hay. I've been talking about this book for almost the entire two years that I've been here on YouTube because that book has specific guidance for how to deal with the issues that you have with food. And it's not, oh, use these beads and use these oils and anything like that. No, practical, literal things that you can do to help heal your relationship. Now, what I like most about the book is that each of us has different parts of our body that is hurting for one reason or the other. And each of those body parts is hurting for a very specific reason. You don't have to know what that reason is because the book is going to help guide you to heal that specific body part. Now, when I first lost my weight, I lost 60 pounds in seven months. I was waking up every single day and doing my affirmations. Affirmations are basically where you repeat certain phrases to yourself that have to do with specific body parts that might be in pain. And I was doing that every single day. That was a part of my daily ritual. I was not losing weight to try to lose weight. I was losing weight to try and heal myself because I was literally always in pain. So I want you to make a pain list. Make a list of body parts of yours that hurt every single day, consistently. And then I want you to go out and get this book. You can buy it in e-form, you can look it up online. I mean, I don't even care. I don't even have a link for you to conveniently get it because this is not about me trying to get clicks or trying to get somebody to buy my beads or my, my stones or anything. No, go out and get that book in whatever iteration you can find it in and read it and then match up your pain list with the affirmations that she has for each of those body parts. And I am telling you, you make that a part of your daily ritual on this weight loss journey, and it will make a huge, huge, huge impact. Now I've gained back some of my weight and it's not because I'm full of shit and I don't know what I'm talking about. It's because after dealing with the 60 pounds that I lost, those issues are gone. But I brought on a whole slew of new issues at the end of that first weight loss journey that I hadn't even considered. And so now that I'm starting this new journey, it is time for me to now go back and find the new things that I have been suppressing for the past couple of years. There are different things that I'm holding on to still and that I need to resolve my relationship with those situations in order to progress on this next part of my journey. So. When you see someone and you see that they've gained back their weight or anything like that, just realize that none of us know people's stories. None of us know the exact inner workings of other people and how they got to where they got to and why and what's causing it. So be gentle on each other, be gentle on yourself 
and please 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 we just hit 1500 subscribers and if there's any value that you've ever found in this channel please i ask of you to share it with someone that you think can find this channel valuable as well make sure you get that book it's you can heal your life by louise hay and i hope you guys are having an amazing amazing year so far and i look forward to continuing on this journey with you all thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all tomorrow bye guys